Hi, welcome to protopic.co.uk. This is a new product video. We've only got one product for you this week, the EL sequencer from SparkFun. Uh, I'll just run through, this is the board here. I'm going to run through the layout and the various parts on the, the board. Right, here you have the outputs to the EL wire with the tracks for switching the AC on and off and the opto isolators for isolating the high voltage from the, the low voltage side over here. Over here you have an 80 mega 328. Now this is actually controlled or programmed rather using the Arduino IDE and uses exactly the same language as the, the Arduino would. Right, just basically a clone on the board. This is programmed through an FDDI header here. Now you can purchase FDDI voltage selectable boards through our website. There's the part number below. And up here you have your various inputs and outputs for your voltage control. Now I'll run through the connections. I'll turn the board over as it is documented on the other side. Okay. Now looking at the back of the board, as you can see the connections are marked A to H on the bottom. But they also have these two small solder points as well on there. Now this is designed so that you don't have to use the connections. You can solder your EL wire either directly or through jumper wires to these points, which is what we tend to find our customers do as the connection points that the SparkFun boards use are not the standard boards that we use with our current range of stock. Here's the FDDI header. Again, it's all marked individually at ground 5 volt RXTX. And DTR is also known as reset. Here's a programming header. Should you wish to reprogram the chip without using the bootloader or you want to replace the bootloader with possibly a faster one, this is where you would make your connection. Now on here you have your power in, a battery in, and it's three and a half volts up to sixteen volts. The onboard power regulator will take care of adjusting that for the onboard uh, Arduino chip on the other side of the board here. You've got your DC going to your inverter. So if you have a, a three uh, three point five volt supply going out to your inverter, then you would hook it up either here or you do have a, a connection on the other side and that's the AC from your inverter that's coming in and then that gets distributed across down to the individual channels on there as well. Now these are all switched through MOSFETs so you can see the other side is actually going to the, the MOSFETs for the control. That was the EL sequencer from SparkFun, this week's new products here at prototype.co.uk. Thanks for watching.